And today's episode of Free Friday is sponsored by Sketchfab. Sketchfab is the largest platform on the internet that gives 3D artists the opportunity to publish, share, discover, buy and even sell 3D, VR and AR content. Sketchfab provides you with an online 3D viewer which is based on the WebGL and Web AR technology. And this simply allows you to view your 3D content on the web, mobile browsers and also on virtual reality headsets. So in case you want to publish or even buy or sell your next 3D content, go Sketchfab. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today is another interesting episode of Free Friday and today we're taking a look at some awesome assets that you will definitely find interesting to get. So the very first one is coming from Sebastian Kopach. So Sebastian actually has a hard surface asset pack that you can get totally for free. Maybe you want to create some medieval kind of things or you know, cool stuff like this. You might find this very interesting to work with now these assets actually don't really have you know a definite uh you know thing which it is supposed to be used for but i do like the idea that there is just a huge range of things that you can go through get and start working with so this is a very nice one and i do love the fact that we have this for free actually if you even zoom right here you'd notice that we have this spare stuff and there's just some very interesting things around here that has to do with satellites and you know some other cool stuff that you would want to check out. So next up is from Shenxin. So Shenxin has a huge set of brush packs and also some extra assets that you would definitely find interesting. Now this is for ZBrush users as there is a base mesh, there's a macro, there's a brush and also a UI. Now if you want this, you can find this within the ZBrush 4R8 and also the 2019 versions. There is also a line shader, which is very interesting to see, but all of these things are contained in the new repacked version of the 2020.1. So within the 2020.1, you can find base mesh, a custom brush, a custom material and also a custom UI and you can simply go ahead and download these now if you open up this in ZBrush you can see that we have the model right here so this is an anime model that you can easily get and you know proceed to work with it so if you're trying to get into anime characters you're trying to model some anime characters you might actually find this one very interesting so you can also get the head model so if I simply turn this off and turn this off as well you can actually just go ahead and work with the head model which is extremely interesting to see and this this goes on for every other thing that you can find here so there is also the brush assets which you can also get and there is a huge set of brushes which you might actually find interesting and as well there is a g13 script which you can also get and then there is the material and also the ui now the material and the ui is more like a custom material and also a custom ui so in case you want to you know get a brand new custom ui you can go ahead and load this one up and if you're also trying to get a custom material which you can use directly in zbrush you can also throw in this and you can see what that looks like so this is a very interesting you know pack and you can also go ahead and play with the UI and you can actually see what the UI looks like. And this is a very cool screenshot of what you can get within the UI. And for me, I think if you're just starting out with ZBrush, you might actually want to try out some of this cool stuff so that you can work a bit faster in ZBrush. Next up is from Manuel. So if you're trying to get, you know, a hand and feet of beast creatures, you can actually get these ones for free right here. So the beautiful thing about these ones is he has actually gone ahead to do some uh, blocking for these models so you can actually get these ones up and running. At the same time, if you want to learn how to work with some stylized characters, he does have have a couple of free sculpt videos that you can simply go through and download. These sculpt videos are here and it is a walkthrough from beginning to end as the file size for this is a little bit too heavy. So you might be dealing with about 4 gig of data if you want to start working with this and they are all highly detailed and high quality in case you're trying to get into sculpting with ZBrush, you will find these ones extremely useful to get started with. Next up is Victor Ariel. Victor Ariel has a brand new base mesh and he also has a very free eyeball that you can you know, simply play with. And I like the fact that it is quite separate from the default type of eyeballs that you get to see. Then for the base mesh, you can actually get this brand new cool base mesh which you can use to start sculpting your characters so you can get this and combine it alongside Shenxin and have a wonderful 
character compilation and start sculpting and working with now with all of this said it's now time for us to talk about some very nice stuff coming from the guys at unity now the first time we talked about unity we did talk about them giving out their digital character which was the main digital character that they had when they did the heretic short film so this character was free we talked about it we said it was lovely it was nice you know we went through everything you need to know about this character but today we're seeing that they are not only issuing out this as they've actually gone ahead to release another brand new character that was also starred in the heretic movie so this is the vfx character and right here you will be able to download this and also have it for free so in case you want to play with it you want to see all of the nitty gritties how you can play how you can work with the vfx you want to play with the whole particle system the morphing system shape keys and all that you would find this one extremely useful as you can go ahead and download this and actually get started with that so this is an amazing episode of free friday but one more thing before we go let's talk about pablo gomez so pablo gomez the creator of zbrush guides has also given out his hair pack for free so there is a very interesting custom hairbrush that he has actually created and he has gone ahead to drop this one for free so in case you want to get this there is three piece brush right here you can download these brushes and you can actually start making awesome hairs directly in zbrush by simply using this brush hair i think this is going to save a lot of time and you can actually use this to create amazing looking characters and a huge shout out to all of the contributors of today's episode of free friday so there you have it if you want to get some cool assets for blender you want to get cool assets for zbrush or maybe you are working with unity and you're looking for something amazing that you want to work with then you can actually take a look at the hero character from the heretic and also the vfx character from the heretic and you can go ahead and start playing with this dialing things up and down and get started with this so that's definitely about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace